Validating Two Methods for Monitoring Population Size of the European Rabbit, written by A. Ballinger and D. Morgan in 2002. The control and monitoring of rabbit population in the wild has sparked renewed interest since the 1995 introduction of rabbit hemorrhagic disease throughout Australia. Surprisingly, little research has been done to validate the methods used for monitoring wild rabbit populations in Australia, making it difficult to interpret the population data found. Throughout this paper, Ballinger and Morgan set out to validate both active burrow entrance and transact count methods through detailed studies of a rabbit population. A second research question was also asked throughout the study where computer analysis of an extensive data set is used to generate a predictive model of emergence behaviour capable of improving the precision of spotlight count data, but that will not be discussed in this presentation. Study conducted between 1998 and 1999 on a 14km square area of grazing land at Bacchus Marsh in Melbourne. Six weeks prior to the study commencing, warrens were ferreted with captured rabbits tagged, sexed, weighed and checked for all over body condition. For the duration of the study, rabbits were captured, tagged and released every six to eight weeks to maintain a reasonable proportion of tagged animals in the population due to high levels of mortality. Rabbits were then monitored using the two methods from October 1998 to September 99 for a total of 89 days and nights. For the active burrow entrance method, 15 warrows were included from the study site that contained approximately 400 burrow entrances and were counted every six weeks with observers designating burrows to either active or inactive. Signs used to identify the active warrens were recent footprints, worn soil floors, fresh faecal pellets and fur. With weedy overgrowth, wind-blown soils, cobwebs and old faecal pellets signalling inactive burrows. For the transact count method, spotlight counts were conducted every 6 to 12 weeks along a fixed transact line of 8.5 km using a moving utility vehicle at 10 km an hour along with a 100 watt handheld spotlight that was used to scan in a 180 degree arc ahead of the vehicle. All rabbits that were seen within 100 metres on either side of the vehicle were recorded, as well as weather conditions and visibility of the area. A population estimate was conducted using the Peterson technique for use in comparing the results later on. The results presented in Figure 1 show the relationship found between the number of active entrances and the population number given using the Peterson technique. The figure shows that the relationship is linear, with the number of active burrows increasing along with the population size. Figure 2 shows the size population at the study site in comparison to the number of rabbits spotted along the transect. Again, the relationship is linear between the two factors, showing that as the number of rabbits seen increased, so did the population numbers. Ballinger and Morgan concluded that the two commonly used methods of spotlight transect counts and active borough entrance counts can most definitely be a reliable means of monitoring relative population size of the European rabbit. Population size was linearly related to count data in both instances.